If sinus of x plus sinus of y plus sinus of z is equal to pi, then x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 plus z to the power of 4 plus 4 x square y square z square is equal to k times x square y square plus y square z square plus z square x square. Then k is option A 1, option B 2, option C 4 and option D none of this. Even though this problem can be solved in standard method, let me give you a simple shortcut. What is the shortcut? Let us make x is equal to y is equal to z. What happens to the left hand side? x to the power of 4, y to the power of 4, plus z to the power of 4. This will simply become 3 times x to the power of 4, plus 4 times x to the power of 6. I do not think I need to explain why it is x to the power of 6 is equal to k times k times each of these term will give you x to the power of 4 therefore 3 times x to the power of 4. I think you can understand if I cancel x to the power of 4 here x to the power of 4 and this is left out with x square and this x to the power of 4 has gone. Now what is left out now 3 plus 4 x square is equal to 3k therefore k is equal to 3 by 3 plus 4x square by 3 therefore k is equal to 1 plus 4 times x square by 3 now actually what is x when we have considered x is equal to y is equal to z sin inverse of x plus sin inverse of y plus sin inverse of z is equal to pi means when this will become 3 times sin inverse of x is equal to pi therefore sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 3 sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 3 is possible only when x is equal to root 3 by 2 and when x is equal to root 3 by 2 x square is equal to 3 by 4 so what we will get here k is equal to 1 plus 4 by 3 times 3 by 4 so k is equal to 1 plus 3 by 4 into 4 by 3 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 therefore k is equal to 2 so clearly option b is correct next problem is sin of cot inverse of cos of tan inverse of x is equal to option a root of x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 option b root of x plus 1 by x square plus 1 option c root of x square minus 1 by x square plus 2 option d root of x square plus 2 by x square plus 1 This problem can be solved using two different kinds of shortcuts apart from using the regular method. Look at this. We have sign of something and no restriction was given on x. That means to say we can give anything for x. However, sign of something is always less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to minus 1. If I say sin theta, sin theta is always less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to minus 1. 
therefore as this is less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to minus 1 so this will never become greater than 1 but if you observe carefully option d x square plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 this is an improper fraction numerator is greater than denominator therefore this is highly impossible and coming to option b if suppose if i give x is equal to 1 the numerator will be 3 denominator will be 2 so 3 by 2 that is also not possible they have not mentioned that x is equal to 1 x is equal to 0 is an exclusion like that therefore option b is removed coming to option c as there is no restriction on that if i put x is equal to 0 this will become complex therefore this is also removed so only option a is correct that is shortcut number one coming to shortcut number two if you are not satisfied with that shortcut let me give you one more shortcut for the same problem let us take some value for x let us take x is equal to 1 for the time being let me take x is equal to 1 then what happens to tan inverse of x tan inverse of x will be what tan inverse of x will be pi by 4 tan inverse of x is pi by 4 then what is cos of pi by 4 cos of pi by 4 is what cos of pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2 now what is cot inverse of 1 by root 2 sin of cot inverse of 1 by root 2 is sin of sin inverse of root 2 by root 3 therefore we must get this answer as root of 2 by 3 put x is equal to 1 only option c you will get 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 2 that is equal to root of 2 by 3 therefore only option a is correct the graph of sin inverse of x is like this between minus 1 and plus 1 the graph of sin inverse of x and its value ranges from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 this is the graph of sin inverse of x and this you should have studied already But what is important is the graph of remaining functions like what is the graph of 2 sin inverse of x, what is the graph of sin inverse of x by 2 and so on. This is very 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 important while solving the problems. Look at this. Graph of sin inverse of x ranges from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Whereas the graph of 2 sin inverse of x ranges from minus pi to plus pi. That means to say your minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 it has exceeded both the limits it is something like expanding the function so look at this the graph of minus graph 2 sin inverse of x is once again its lower limit of x is minus 1 upper limit of x is 1 or in short i can say the domain is x belongs to minus 1 to plus 1 whereas here range is changing whenever you are multiplying something to the con some constant to the function the range changes and not the domain changes in the vertical direction and not in the horizontal direction it is like this it is same sin inverse of x but it is more extended you can observe this this is short and that is having almost double the length of sin inverse of x Now, I think you can easily understand what is the graph of sin inverse of x by 2 now. The range of 2 sin inverse of x is from minus pi to plus pi, whereas the range of sin inverse of x by 2 will be minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. That is half of the range of sin inverse of x. Look at this. This is minus pi by 4 and this is plus pi by 4. So, once again, from minus 1 to plus 1 the graph of sin inverse of x by 2 is this. Now, I think you can understand better if I draw both sin inverse of x 
two sine waves of x and sine waves of x by 2 in one simple graph. Look at this. On the same rectangular Cartesian system, I am trying to develop all the three. Sine waves of x is this. Two sine waves of x is this. So this will go up to pi. And so it will come up to this point. Two sine waves of x. And sine waves of x by 2 is only up to this point. You can observe carefully here. All the three I have written here. One is sine inverse of x and two sine inverse of x and sine inverse of x by 2. All the three have lower limit as minus 1, upper limit as plus 1 for x. Whereas range changes for sine inverse of x, it is from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. For, for two sine inverse of x, it is from minus pi to plus pi. And for sine inverse of x by 2, it is minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4. This is actually termed as amplitude scaling. Amplitude scaling is multiplying to the amplitude or multiplying to the range. Next one is time scaling. Look at this. Sine inverse of 2x. How will be the graph of sine inverse of 2x? Look at this. Just draw the graph of sine inverse of x once again. This is from minus 1 up to plus 1. This is actually the graph of sine inverse of x from minus 1 to plus 1. And this point is minus pi by 2 up to plus pi by 2. From minus 1 to plus 1 you have, that is for sine inverse of x. If it is for sine inverse of 2x, then divide each and every point on x axis by 2. So that is from minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2, sine inverse of 2x exists. Here, domain changes and not the range. The vertical limits are as it is. From minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, vertical limit. Whereas horizontal limits, we had minus 1 to plus 1. Now we have minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2. This is, this is the domain of sine inverse of 2x. I think now you can easily write on your own what is domain of sine inverse of x by 2 and before that let me draw the graph of that. Once again I am rewriting the graph of sine inverse of x with the limits minus 1 and plus 1. This is for, this is for sine inverse of x. For sine inverse of x by 2, sine inverse of x by 2, observe here we divided by 2, there we have to multiply by 2, you will get from minus 2 to plus 2. Need not have to mention here, this is minus pi by 2 and this is plus pi by 2. Now, what is 2 sin inverse of 2x? 2 sin inverse of 2x is very simple. So, once again, first I am writing minus 2 to minus 1 to plus 1 and I'm just drawing, I'm just drawing sin inverse of x graph and I'm changing this limit sir. and this limit also. This is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. This is actually the graph of sin inverse of x and it is not the graph of 2 sin inverse of 2x. First let me convert it into sin inverse of 2x. For conversion of sin inverse of 2x, we have to divide by 2 on each and every point on x axis. Therefore, this will be minus 1 by 2, this will be plus 1 by 2. Whereas for the range, for the range, we have to multiply by 2, therefore you will get minus pi by 2 into 2, that is minus pi lower limit, plus pi by 2 into 2, that is plus pi upper limit. So therefore, domain of sine inverse of 2 sine inverse of 2x is minus 1 by 2 to plus pi 1 by 2 and the range is minus 2 to plus 2. CHIPS proudly announces admissions for crash course for JEE mains and CET coaching. Classes commence after 2nd PUC and 12th board exams. Crash course for 2nd PUC regular. Classes commence after 1st PUC and 11th board exams.
accommodation assistance provided for outstation candidates. Centers at Kumta, Dandeli and Bangalore.